ഹലോ വെൽക്കം ടു ജിയോജി സ്പോട്ട് ലൈറ്റ് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് പെർട്ടിക്കുലർലി ന്യൂ ആൻഡ് യങ് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റേഴ്സ് എൻ്ററിംഗ് ദ വേൾഡ് ഓഫ് ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ഫോർ ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ടൈം ഹാവ് മെനി ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ഇൻ ദർ മൈൻഡ് ഫോർ ഇൻസ്റ്റൻസ് വർ ഷുഡ് വൺ ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ് വൺസ് മണി വൺ സേവിങ്സ് ഇൻ വിച്ച് അസെറ്റ് ക്ലാസ് ഗോൾഡ് ബാങ്ക് ഫിക്സഡ് ഡെപ്പോസിറ്റ്സ് ഇക്വിറ്റീസ് ബോണ്ട്സ് വിച്ച് അസെറ്റ് ക്ലാസ് ടു ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ് ഇഫ് വൺ ഡിസൈൻ ടു ഇൻവെസ്റ്റ് ഇൻ എ diversified portfolio of various asset classes which asset should be given more importance is bank deposit more important or should gold be more important or should uh, equities and equity mutual funds be given more weightage this is another question which most investors have in their mind finally people want to know about the risk return profile of various asset classes which asset classes are more risky which asset classes are less risky how can one maximize returns by minimizing risk these are the fundamental questions which most investors have their have in their minds the aim of this learning series is to address these questions so uh, welcome to this first episode of this learning series let us start with the basics we know savings investments and wealth but let me briefly explain that for better clarity what is savings saving is the balance in your income after meeting expenditure income minus expenditure equals savings but in uh, financial planning we tweak this definition a little bit and say that uh, income minus savings should be the expenditure that means from your income even if it is very low a part has to be set apart for saving and investment and only the balance has to be spent because this is important for safeguarding future and for wealth creation in the future so that is saving what is investment investment is deploying money with the expectation of a return now what is wealth this is very important wealth means abundant valuable possession not just valuable possession that valuable possession has to be abundant if a person has 2 uh, lakhs of rupees in bank fixed deposit that is not wealth it's a small amount or if uh, a lady has uh, uh, gold ornaments worth 4 lakhs that cannot be called wealth because relatively it is a small amount but if the value of the asset in your possession is let us say 10 crores or 20 crores or above then that can be called wealth the very important point that has to be understood is that wealth can be created wealth can be created through a smart investment intelligent investment over the long run a very important point of distinction between income and wealth is that income is earned you work and earn your income wealth is not earned wealth is created and wealth can be created through systematic smart investment in the long run now when we invest money what do we expect from investment broadly there are five expectations from investment whatever might be the asset class in which we invest money there are five expectations from investment number 1 good returns there should be decent returns from investment second capital appreciation that means the value of the asset class in which you have invested money should appreciate in the long run third safety investment should be safe you should not lose your capital fourth investment should be liquid that means 
it should be capable of being converted into cash at short notice uh, because we don't know when we will need the money and fifthly if the investment can give some tax breaks some tax advantages that can be regarded as a very good investment now is there any asset class which can give all the five it's very difficult bank deposits will give you decent returns every month but there is no capital appreciation gold particularly investment in gold uh, physical gold and gold ornaments can give you good uh, capital appreciation in the long run but there is no income from that real estate can give good capital appreciation but real estate is not liquid most of these investment do not offer any tax breaks to the investor so which is an asset class which can give all these five can stocks give all the five partly yes partly no why do i say partly yes partly no all stocks do not give all these five do not fulfill all these five characteristics but there is a certain category of stocks what we call blue chip stocks high quality stocks they have all these five characteristics they will give decent returns in the form of dividend they will give incredible capital appreciation in the long run they are safe they are very liquid you can sell at any point of time and convert it into cash and they offer some tax breaks also in the form of capital gains tax exemption up to 1 lakh and beyond 1 lakh only 10 percentage capital gains therefore you have to invest in blue chip stocks if you have the expertise to invest and that is an asset class which can give all these five attributes also mutual funds mutual funds that invest in equity and also hybrid funds which invest in a combination of equity and fixed income can give all these uh, five attributes of a good investment